Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, in the last one, we were running through all of the last fucking side missions, I believe, in the entire game before the point of no return. And right now, we just found out that a shitload of bandit. Who the hell are you? Thank goodness you're here. I'm busy trying to save Aaron. I mean, Baron's daughter. Through, headed for Aaron's oh, place. right. That's the exact same thing we're talking about. And in which case, that is perfectly fine. I'm going to go and slaughter them. Thank you for being such an unnecessary step on my journey. Hello. You think this gun arm dude will come back instead of running? Oh, you Wait, you guys didn't even know about Aaron? You idiot. Keep your eyes. Might as well murder you. It's not like you're going to be difficult. Oh, look at Baron go. Didn't want to keep you waiting. Wait, Can't wait to get rid of this you? stupid sword. Ah, uh, should have known you were one of them. But am L I? Hmm. Whatever. Enough of this bullshit. Hey, let him loose. Uh, Who sure. is them? Who is he? Oh no! Oh no! It's Lil Sunberry. The bits, you hear me? Leave the faces, though. Shinra ain't gonna give us the bounty otherwise. This is going to be terrifying. What am I meant to do against you, little buddy? Oh, Tifa's just gonna ram him. Oh my god! Oh no, Barrett, dodge. That was... that was useless. Why is this thing not doing anything? I expect better from a Tonberry. Uh, Blade Burst! <laughs> oh. Um. Um. Excuse me? Uh, uh, excuse me? Please, please, don't you dare let him take up Barrett. Oh god, that slow war gets so cute, but so terrifying. Let's hit a, uh, let's hit a, hit a star shower, shall we? There we go. Now, Barrett, get the hell out of the way. We desperately need to get Cloud up. He needs to charge his thing. I can't believe that nearly killed him. I say nearly killed him. It did fucking kill him. Come on, buddy, up you get. And get out the way. I like how we can summon against this tiny little bastard. It's adorable. Don't you dare go for me. Yeah. Alright, fine, give me a carbuncle then. We need perma heals from this motherfucker, because this is not going well. I don't think this is a good place to charge up uh, Cloud's blade burst or whatever. It, it's incapable of ever hitting. No, 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 not Scourge. Oh, god damn it. I don't know why the thing only goes for Cloud. And now, every now and then, Barret. Come on, Carbuncle, we need ya! Oh, look at him getting all close. This is not gonna go well. Oh, Barrett's ready. Barrett's ready to save uh, save the cloudy boy. So... Wrong thing. Spells. Raise. Now. Cloud. Thank you. Also, Tifa. Oh, don't you dare get out. Oh, I dodged the chief knife. I don't know why I'm never able to do that as Cloud, but yeah, I'm a bit stupid. Let's go ahead and hit Emerald Light on everybody. Thank you, Carbuncle. You are my lord and savior. Now we just gotta check for whenever our chief knife shows up, up, shows up above the little bastard's head. I think, yeah, there it is. I think it's going for Tifa this time around. Tifa, move! This is a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Now hit Blade Burst. It turned on him again. If I can turn on Cloud again! Oh no, it's hitting Doom and Bloom. I'll pay you back. I, I don't even know if we hit it. I, I don't even know what that was, but thanks for the massive heal. Oh, you know what? I think it, um, I think maybe Cloud got knocked down and Carbuncle immediately got him up. I can't tell, but it seemed like it. Oh my god, at least it's nearly dead, but how much health can a little Tubberry have? special. Does Blade Burst do damage from behind? I mean, sorry, do damage from afar. Why can't you hit? Oh, because there's no target. Okay. Fuck you, Tomberry. We're gonna get a little close, but not bone deep grudge. These things, they're so adorable, but so utterly fucking horrifying. Uh, Blade Burst, please. It does work like I thought it did. Oh my god. That might be the only thing better than Infinity's End for Cloud. Other than his limits, that looks amazing. Ow, fuck, that does so much more damage to Cloud than it does to Barret. I did not expect it to be that good. All right, save everybody's life, buddy. Um, oh, you know what, fuck it. Where'd he go? Fine, no maximum fury, because we gotta save Cloud! Get up, buddy! Much better. I'm just gonna stay as Cloud, because he is the one who needs training right now. He's the one with the big shitty sword that we need to get rid of ASAP. Or, you know, he could be completely useless again. Oh my god, it just never ends! All right, Cloud, we need you, buddy. What does Tantrum do? I, I don't want to know what Tantrum does. I just want to end it with a blade burst and never worry about anything ever again. 
Or Cloud could die again. That that works too. Our little thing ragdolled all the way over Wake there. Wake up. Uh, okay. Cute. We won't say a word to no one about you being here. Really. Honest. How did you even That's get right. that Tomberry to we'll work for you? We were never here. It's so much more powerful than anyone in Corneo's power. We hear about or control, you, whatever the fuck. Any of your friends coming around here ever again? You'll answer to my boot. No. Yes, no, sir. you'll answer to the fucking Tomberry. Surely it answers to us now. Come with us, my friend. Let me summon you. You are amazing. Oh well, that's malicious goons complete. Now, what else we got around here? Secret medicine, technically, but I've got... No, I don't know where the hell we're gonna get that medicine. Should I now go and find maybe Elmira and the rest? I don't see why we wouldn't. I mean, should at least check they didn't get murdered along the way. Because we let those dudes leave after, you know, tickling Wedge or something. This will be, this will be a disaster. <sighs> so... Doing alright guys? Can I even come in here when we're not really supposed to be? I absolutely can! Alright. Daddy's back early, Molly. Take care of my girl. Okay, I, we, we come back after like ages. You know, we got nothing to say? Oh, you're so sweet. I fucking love Marlene. Alright, fine, fine. Let's get the hell out of here. And I will see you guys when either I find the secret medicine or we find a new mission. Hold on, we got two things on our end? Well, we got two things. Corneo secret stash! Yes! I forgot we got the, um... We got the key now, right? So we can go all the way over to... Where is it? We got one nearby, I know that much. Over by the Steel Mountain. Alright, I'll see you guys when we get there. Because I don't know where the nearest Chocobo could be. Alright, well we're nearly there and I finally learned Blade Burst where we can now use that with the Hard Edge and make it even more utterly terrifying. I'm gonna miss the way that Mithril Saber looked. I was finally getting used to it and it didn't look as hilarious anymore. It actually looked pretty damn badass. So what's this materia over here? Orb of Prayer. Huh. Interesting. I quite like that we can now have someone else with that. I mean, I always could have taken it off of Aerith, I guess. But why the hell would I, ever, would I have ever done that? There we go. I'm gonna save the chest till last. Why is he just keeping his fucking teddy bears around here? What is the point in this? Like, I know they're also bombs because Don Corneo. But still, still the way out here? I mean, it did say he has uh, stashes that even he doesn't know he has type deal. So that probably explains a lot. Now, what's in the big ones? A lot of Moogle medals, and that's about it. Huh. Well, that's a, uh, that's a shame. I expected a little more there. Three Molotovs. I should actually try using those, huh? Especially when I got people who don't really- A circlet. Especially when I got people who don't really know how to use any kind of magic. Or offensive magic anyway. That'd come in really handy if, like, Cloud is down or not around or something. Ruby TR, we're getting some seriously good stuff here. Two Moogle medals, and I just gotta make sure that that is everything here. If it isn't, we're gonna have a lot- I'm gonna be really mad if I've missed out on something. Nothing just hidden? Man, three grand, that's it? Like, I know I could probably sell everything I found for like 50 grand, but still. Oh my god, we have 30k total! I didn't know we've hit that yet, that's amazing! Um... Where's the new shit? I know we got circlet and some kind of ruby, ruby thing. Um... Are you still wearing that crescent moon thing? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take that away from you now. Ah. Uh, Drop items, don't really care. Wait, who's wearing this? Oh, you got, the, you got the protective boots on. I quite like that. I like being immune to slow and stop. But uh, what does this circular do? Max MP by 10, magic power by 5. That goes on Aerith as soon as we find her, because she's wearing the Crescent Moon Charm. That explains a lot. Um, what should you have, buddy? What's that ruby thing we found? I swear we found like a ruby thing. Maybe it's here? Huh? Inventory? Just regular items, maybe? Oh, no, I just think it's something to sell, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell that looks like. Ruby Tiara! Valuable access accessory that belongs to Corneo. Okay, I thought that would be in there because it didn't... It, that's the sort of thing we picked it up. And then the mission was like, hey, you've moved on, type deal. So, we're done there now. Where the hell else can I go? 
I guess I should go find that medicine. Because it's the only one we have right now. And there's still got two to find. Uh, so where did it say we needed to go? I think it said in some kind of collapsed area. And I believe there is a chocobo stop that takes us right to a collapsed area. So let's go ahead and find out. Uh, collapsed expressway. I could be wrong about it being here, but I seem to remember that. So I'm going to look around for a while and I'll see you guys when we find it. Or maybe once we're back. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how annoying this is going to be. Wait a minute, the map is telling me like immediately as soon as I got out of here. Love this track, by the way. But as soon as I got out of here, it's telling me there's another Corneo vault right around the corner. I believe? Where, how far in does it say? All the way around here. So glad they come up on the maps. I don't know if you need to have like walked around them before or gone into them, seen them, walked past them. I don't know. Or maybe they're just already on the map for you since we were sort of given a list of locations, right? By the... Uh, by the angel, by Murray, or whoever the fuck it was. I, I don't I don't remember who gave it to us. Oh, these blue motherfuckers have gone at last. There we go. Now this one doesn't seem nearly as extensive. But at least we got some MP. Uh, oh, oh boy. And some Moogle medals. We should really go back to the, uh, to the Moogle Emporium and just pick up the last of those. Like, hey, we're really cool now. Let's give you a shitload of SP kind of things. Because fuck me, do I want them. Diamond tiara. This fucker likes tiaras, huh? There we go. That's another one of those done. Time to look around for that medicine. This is bad. Aha! You're Weimar, right? And you now have hey, a thing Barry. for me. Give me your hey, thing, sir. How's it going? Oh, not Could me, be you asshole. Fine. I've a good number of watchmen out looking for survivors. But at least but we found another. I'd love to join them. I've got another mess on my hands at the moment. Remember those rumors about a lab? They're true. There is one. Hidden underground somewhere, and it's full of monsters. I mean, we've been to it. So, Cloud, think you can lend us a hand with it? It's only a matter of time. Oh, suddenly I exist now that you need my crawling. massive, massive cock sword. I know it's a dangerous job, but but no one else can do it. Well, yeah. So yeah. Help us out. He's such a cocky little shit. I love you. Subterranean menace. Um. And it, like, where is it? It's all the way over here? Or is that ch I don't know. Hey, it's our girl as well. Hey, I forget your name. Marl, there we go. What isn't too shabby? Sometimes people need to cry, you psychotic old lady. Oh, what's in here? Head underground? Oh, maybe this is where the lab is. Okay, well, I'm not getting the uh, medicine, clearly. But at least we'll find something down here. Might as well get some missions done, right? Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, and here comes the music. This was one of the coolest fucking places. Some of the coolest goddamn boss fights. Like, like that failed experiment, he was awesome. Hmm. And I can't wait to take on more. Heading back up. Some quests or treasures take you underground. Hold L1 to return above ground. Well, that's a new feature. How did we get back above ground last time? I guess we were just taken there by cutscene or something. When we did a sufficient amount of murder and... For now then, let's make our way under here. Tifa just continues running into the damn wall. Good go. You'll get there eventually. Just charge it out the way. I don't think that's going to work. If Cloud can't do it, you definitely can't, little lady. Oh. Hello, there's a man. Why is there a man? What are you doing down here? They are, huh? Let's go see if we can deal with that, because something is co obviously causing the tremors. Because it's Final Fantasy, regular earthquakes can't exist, it's gotta be caused by some massive worm or some shit. The main theme of Final Fantasy 7! Which means we definitely have been here before, because I remember picking that up. Uh, how's my health doing? I don't think we've been in a fight yet this episode, have we? We have been in a fight! Oh yeah, yeah, never mind, I took on quite a few guys. Um, so let's go ahead and relax a little bit, and get my health back. Because I'm sure we'll be taking on something fucking terrifying down here it wouldn't let me go here. We even got like a tutorial for being underground, talking about quests, so... We definitely got some kind of shit to do. You hear a faint growling in the distance. Oh, I completely forgot about you! And I definitely would not call that faint, game. More like... That's, that's not faint in the slightest. That's, that's the big screen. Oh god, it's these guys. I don't like these guys. Oh god, no cloud is stunned already? I was looking for- Oh my god, Wrath Hounds are regular enemies now. That's- that's not allowed. These things were unstoppable when they were on their own. Just, I was about to say not too long ago. It was kind of forever ago. We're gonna be fine. Especially now that these things are dead. 
And I get to try out Blade Burst. I don't think it'll... Uh, oh, and miss. I don't think it'll be as good as Infinity's End. But the fact it costs half as much as Infinity's End and does nearly as much damage means it might 100% be worthwhile. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, be Barret. Barret will absolutely rip and tear through this motherfucker, I believe. There we go. He's even good at getting its fucking... Uh, oh, God, not throat clamp. Not fucking throat clamp. You can get on Tifa, that's fine, because I know she'll never dodge. Uh, maximum Fury! And now Cloud... No, no, no. Oh, my God. He actually knocked the thing off? Wow, Baron. You were terrifying today. Okay, block it. There we go. Can't believe we're allowed to punish a rat down. Let's do it over and over again. Why not? Because it's going for our boy over there. That's why. We can stagger the prick. It's never coming back from that one. Jesus, it's just so fast. That's the problem. You can barely hit it. And it's nearly killed Cloud. Uh, come on, other people. Come on, Barrett. How close are you to your uh, to your big move? Very far away for some reason. That's frustrating. At least it's not throat clamping nearly as much as it absolutely should be. Maximum Fury. I don't know how I killed this thing so early on in the game. Especially on this fucking difficulty. Like, I've now seen footage of uh, easy mode and it, it's unbelievable seeing the differences between this. Considering this is called normal, it should be considered like fucking extreme mode. Considering how much harder it is than normal. Or oh, easy, sorry. There we go. That's a couple of those fucking mono drives over there. I hate those things. See for us our limit. And I forgot to change our limit again. Good job me, but at least we get to end it like that. Now, battle settings. Tifa. Limit break. Dolphin Flurry. Unleash an unrelenting stream of acrobatic attacks. Significantly increases enough. stagger. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, don't head up, I don't wanna head up. I wanna heal before we go on, but I don't wanna head up. Um, give me Barrett seals, because Barrett needs to level them up anyway. Tifa is sort of doing okay, somehow. Despite looking like she took the absolute brunt of that shit. Don't know how to get down there. Oh. It's a very easy way to get down here. What exactly is the source of that faint growling? That is absolutely not faint, it is definitely fucking terrifying. Oh, sweepers as well? Wow, they made this place fucking hard. This feels like an endgame dungeon in the 2Ds. Except nowhere near as hard, because oh my god, the end endgame dungeons of the 2Ds are just absolutely unstoppable and I hate them. And by that, I don't mean like the final dungeon. I mean the shit after the final dungeon. That is basically unbreakable the entire way through. Now let me go ahead and cast a Thundaga! I wonder if the little guys are also weak to that. It seems like Thundaga has a massive area of effect there, I only just noticed that. Oh my god, that is amazing. Thundaga just hits everybody. Uh. Oh, never mind. Never mind, because they're immune to it anyway. That didn't bother them in the fucking slightest, but I like how the Argus have gone sort of AoE. I think Cloud's Faraga is even better because I put Magnify on it at last. So he just hits a huge fucking range with that thing now. Oh, Cloud leveled up! I love the amount of SP you get from each level up. It's way too fucking much. It's amazing. Ah, uh, this thing's still unbe unbeatable. This one over here isn't. This one thinks reflecting magic is a good idea. What a fucking retard. Let's go ahead and hit Max Fury. And please, oh god, don't save yourself. Are we still hitting? I, I don't know what you're shooting at, Barrett. All I know is that was a terrible idea. Come on, it's gonna be so close now. All right, there we go. Now we need some kind of magic. Let's do this. You know what? I want to know if this counts as magic damage. No, no, it still counts as physical. There we go. Oh, maybe it doesn't because the dude switched. Like right at the last second, I don't know what we just hit him with. It very well could have been magic damage right there. And now it's time for Max Fury again. I love that we can summon against these guys. The summoners deemed this enemy, this single monodrive, worthy of showing the fuck up. I say that. Our summons are currently only Cactuar and Carbuncle. It's hardly like a free is going to wake up for this one. But still. I really wish Tifra had our limit. Oh, Barrett, to be honest. We haven't seen either of the new limits. And I'm so fucking desperate to, because I'm sure they look at... Wait, 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 wait. We can summon and, uh... It would be very, very nice to get a little bit of a heal from Carbuncle before uh, before the end of the fight. Because that way I don't need to waste any of our fucking MP later. I wish you could just tell the AI not to fight for a sec. 
Because I really just... I need some eels, buddy. Need some eels, quickly. Hurry up, buddy. Oh, it only went to Barrett? Heal more of us. Ah, uh, fine. Yeah, at least it was something. Yes, I know we can, but they're annoying enemies, okay? t fan stop fucking with me. Now what we got down here? We're gonna take on whatever the hell that switchy thing was. On zero health, aren't we? Regular bloodhounds after that? Uh, okay, game. Not sure why you think they're even remotely scary, but whatever. I've taken these guys on alone in a fucking arena, like three of them plus a turret. Why is this scary? Take the lead. Easy. Oh, also, if I'm, uh, while, I, while I've got the chance, I'm just gonna have Tifa. Apparently I won't, because Tifa is being useless in this fight and incapable of doing anything. I was gonna make a chakra, but that's clearly not gonna be a thing. Look at Barrett's enormous health pool. When did he get up to 5,704? When? I'm not complaining, but oh my god! Uh, oh, we are literally just backtracking through this, huh? You hear growling from afar. Hmm. So we're still far away, but it is, like, showing us that direction. Which is probably a good sign, right? I wonder what that thing could be. We've been hearing it for a long time, like, since we came down here for the story. To save our boy Wedge. Luckily, there's no more enemies around because I'm getting a little annoyed by the fights in here. Because it just goes from really fucking scary to not scary at all, back to scary, and it's just like, dude, keep it consistent or don't throw anything at me at all. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is where Barrett murdered an entire family of bugs. There we go, what a good boy. What a lovely, uh, what a lovely little reminisce we're having around here. You hear growling closer than before. Oh, damn it, I won't be able to break all these boxes with Barrett again. That was just one of my favorite experiences of the whole game, and I don't even know why. It wasn't even particularly amazing, it just felt so cool because we've never been in control of Barrett, and there were sparks flying everywhere. I'm just going to load up on endless drugs before we go here. Because, oh my god, we're probably going to need it. Now, since it's going to take forever, because I need to get Barrett back to 5,704 health, uh, I'm genuinely going to jump cut this heal. See you guys soon. Well, we're all healthy boys now, and I've also taken on a little extra for my troubles, just because... There's a, what the fuck? Okay, PC is doing a thing. Piss off. There we go. Um, I'm also completely lost. How do we get through here, Baron? Oh, the the hole in the wall. That would that would most certainly do it. <sighs> but I swear this is where I just came from. That can't be. And it's a type E specimens. If it's gonna be coming from anywhere, it's gonna be coming from here. I don't think we've ever been through there either. In fact, I don't think that was open when we were here last. How do we get down there? That I don't know. In fact, there's currently a lot that I don't know. Oh, oh no! Oh, hello! This was definitely not open before. You hear growling going from behind this door. It's right through here. I think we're about to take on a mega boss or something. It sounded very big. He sounded like a big, big lad. Oh my god. What in hell are you? What are you? Type Zero Behemoth. We're taking on an actual behemoth. Oh man, these were my bane. All throughout Final Fantasy IV, I believe. And hell, five and six, they were pretty fucking terrifying too. Now we can take on their upper body and the lower body. I don't know why there's a difference and I don't know why he's going down this easily. I expected the behemoth to be absolutely terrifying, I must admit. Oh man, it's this track as well. Oh, this is such a throwback. Okay, ow, Jesus Christ, that one hurt. Okay, so he doesn't, he doesn't have much health, by the looks of things, but he also does an absolute fuckload of damage. Horn. Wait a damn second, isn't a behemoth horn something we need? I seem to remember that being uh, something we needed for the secret medicine quest or something. Oh man, I really should have saved before this. Am I meant to break the horn off? I, I don't know how this goes. Come on, take away his lower body. We can literally cripple his ass. The rest of him shall fall, right? The horn is immune. Stop going for the fucking horn, Barrett. What are you doing? Maybe I'm meant to, uh, like, magicify the horn? Oh my god, like 1k damage out of nowhere ev all the damn time? We need a carbuncle summon. I just wish the summons would stare out for a decent amount of time. They absolutely do not. Come on, come on, cut that ass up. Yes, okay. All right, Tifa's nearly dead, but we should be able to save her. 
Ah, uh, Tifa, 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 Tifa! Let's go where they chakra! Thank you! Keep it together. Okay, none of us are completely bleeding out right now. So now you dodge that, Barrett, but I'll take it. There you go. Right, now get Cloud up because fuck me, he's going to bleed. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to keep Barrett alive. I completely forgot he has, like, res capabilities. Andy now has Kiraga. Where in hell did that come from? I'm so proud of you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, move! Cloud's at full health. Good sign, good sign, and I believe Barrett's about to bleed the fuck out. Crippled the lower body. Oh my god, this is sad. He just can't move. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, let's go ahead and summon Cover. Constant heals will be very nice. And now this dude just dragging his fucking legs along the ground. This feels wrong. This feels really wrong. It's like a dying cat. But at least we got our adorable little crystallized Pomeranian with us to help. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, you leave Tifa alone. I'm stuck in his fucking tail. I literally can't move. Thank you, Carbuncle. No, 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 please don't go for the horn. We cut the fucking upper body to pieces and we see what the hell happens. Oh, he's completely destroyed. The fucking can only crawl. Now we take the horn. Now the horn's actually breakable. But then what happens if... Oh, God, he's staggered. What happens when he's unstaggered? Do we have to do it all again? I... I can't tell. Oh, he's revitalizing. That's a bad sign for us, but here comes the Diamond Dazzle. Which is such an adorable name for a move, and we're all the back of full health. He's pretty much back at full health. We need to save that horn. I imagine if we... Breaking the horn is the only way to get that uh, secret medicine thing. I imagine if we don't do it, then we fuck that up. Now I'm going for the lower body first. The lower, bringing down the lower body makes it very, very easy to take out the upper body. And I imagine it's just harder to hit the... Uh, hit the upper body, like, first in general, since that's where he does most of his murders from. Come on, Tifa. Uh-oh. Please be able to hit a star shower in time. Oh my god! <laughs> Even Tifa is absolutely unstoppable here. I don't understand. She has to get so close. She's getting this close to a behemoth and winning. Oh, that's not going to look good. Yeah, that really hurts. But oh well, it's crippled. Now we move in and we cut up his arms. There we go. Oh man, look at him. Launching himself up in the air like that. What a badass. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. I'm so sorry we have to bring him down. What a dodge though, Barrett. That one actually looked really cool. Now we overcharge. And what's even better than an overcharge? Max Fury is better than an overcharge. Oh, it always looks so good. I didn't expect Barrett's gun to be this damaging to a behemoth. But it absolutely is. And there he goes. He's crippled. He's crippled. He's crippled. Now, Tifa, you need to hit your best move twice. The star shower on that horn. Cloud, you need to get in there. You need to cut it up with goddamn Punisher mode as much as possible. Even Barrett's ripping it apart there. There we go. Crippled the horn. But did we take it away? Did we steal his damn horn? Uh, I don't know how this works. Oh my god, the upper body's nearly broken again. This poor man. Now he's got no upper body, but he does have a lower body. How's this one going to work? Oh, he looks so sad. I'm so sorry, Type Zero. Goodbye. Oh my god, what is this? Save yourself. Immediately. This We need permanent cures here. Uh, save Barrett more than anybody. Barrett needs to... If Barrett dies, everyone dies. Oh, I just about saved him. Come on, come on. Block, 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 block. Are we obtained? A behemoth horn. And someone leveled up time. I believe Tifa has time. Because it, it, it lets her uh, haste, right? And she's the monk. Only makes sense. We've got everything we need from down here. And that was an amazing fight. I wish there was more opportunities to cripple in this game. Or like focus on body part. There's enough and it's really cool. But it is one of the coolest um, parts of the game. And I wish it was a little bit more dynamic. I wish maybe, then again, then you wouldn't be able to have such polished animations for each little bit that breaks if it was dynamic. But I love it if you could just break the arm on like any like big enough enemy and shit like that and it would lose some capabilities and stuff like that i understand that would be incredibly hard to do but it just it feels so good when it fucking happens all right let's head topside shall we that was a blast now where is it gonna put us anyway oh the winner of a coliseum tournament receives not only glory and fame but a substantial prize are you trying to tell me to go back is that new stuff? Because I doubt there's new stuff. 
<coughs> excuse me, I doubt there's new stuff until we go ahead and bring back Aerith. Which might be possible, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know at all. But I'm, I'm very much hoping it's possible, because bringing Aerith over here would be wonderful again. I want more to, I, I don't want going over there and saving Aerith to be the end. I think maybe it's giving us these because the world might not be the same when we get back. But I don't think the game will just end as we save Aerith. Not quite yet. We'll return to the Doctor once I've dealt with this one. You took care of those monsters? Oh, thank you. That's one less big problem to worry about. We owe you. I know it's tough right now, but stay strong, you hear? You too, buddy. But hey, we're grounders. We don't break easy. I know it's not much, but take this with my thanks. I mean, that dude is- oh, wow! Wrecking Ball! New thing for Barrett, nice! I mean, you say you don't break easy, and then you go and look at this man. What- 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 what is happening over here? He's literally just doing it next to another man. This man- this- oh, no shame for this boy. Alright, let me go ahead and equip Barrett with his new gun. Is it an actual gun? No. No, it's not. We can use Smackdown with it. 37, no, 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 wrong one. Literally, a, a fucking melee weapon does less damage than Big Bertha. Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we can reslot it to do more damage and it'll be cool, but I, I don't know. Barrett needs to be ranged for me. That's how he's just meant to be and it's really weird giving him melee weapons. I guess it was a thing in the OG or they probably wouldn't have put it in, but I don't know. It's just really weird to me. And especially the Wrecking Ball one, because it's not even like you have a fake hand. Literally, you've just got like a stump. Stumps aren't cool. But I will, uh, I will grind them up with it. So I will see you guys when we are back at the Doctor, I believe. <laughs>